Hi! In this video I will talk about borrowing notes from the Phrygian scale. So many people talk about borrowing notes from the major or from the minor scale. But if we think about it, we can borrow notes from some other scales too. For example, we can borrow notes from the Phrygian scale. But one thing is really important. When you borrow the notes, make sure to borrow from the parallel scale. Meaning, if for example you are in the key of F major, you want to borrow the notes from F Phrygian scale, from the parallel scale. If you are in the key of D major, you want to borrow the notes from the parallel scale, from D Phrygian scale. So let's take a look here on the board. We have a very short phrase that sounds like this. Sometimes I like to play it with a C pedal point throughout just to give it a nicer flavor. So it sounds like this. So the first chord is C major triad. The final chord is C major triad. And take a look here, we don't have any accidentals, so we are in the key of C major. So if we are in the key of C major, we need to borrow the notes from the parallel scale. So we are going to borrow the notes from C Phrygian scale. C Phrygian scale. Let's write down the notes of C Phrygian scale on the board. So it's going to be C, D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, and C. Let's write down the name of the scale, C Phrygian scale. So this is the C Phrygian scale, it sounds like this. So it has step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step to A flat, whole step to B flat, and whole step to C. Now, if we listen carefully to this scale, it has a very specific sound, very unique sound, some kind of a Spanish flavor to it. Very beautiful. And if you play around these notes, you get very nice sounds, very interesting uh, sounds like this. This is the Phrygian scale, it's a very beautiful scale. So now I would like to borrow notes from the C Phrygian scale, but only for the second measure. Only for the second measure, not here and not here. Only for the second measure. So let's take a look. The first note in the second measure, we have the note F. So let's check if we have the note F in the C Phrygian scale. Let's see, one, two, three, four, yes, we have the note F. So this note stays as is. Let's go ahead to the next note. We have here the note D. Do we have the note D in the C Phrygian scale? Let's see. Nope, we have a D flat. We have a D flat, meaning that 
this note has to go <clears throat> half step down to D flat. Half step down to D flat. Let's take a look at the next note. We have here the note A. Do we have the note A in the Phrygian scale? No, we have an A flat. So this note will go down by half step to A flat. And now let's take a look. It's very interesting because we have here the note F, we have here the note D flat and A flat. So it's not a D minor chord anymore. This is a D minor chord. Here we have F, D flat and A flat. This is a second inversion of the D flat major triad. D flat major triad. So let's write down D flat major triad chord. And let's go ahead to the next chord. Here we have the note G. Do we have the note G in the C Phrygian scale? Yeah. So this note stays as is. The next note is E. Do we have the note E? Let's see, one, two, three. Note, we have an E flat. So this note has to go down by half step to E flat. And here we have the B natural, and here we have the B flat. So this note has to go down by half step to B flat. Now, let's take a look. Here we have the note G, E flat, and B flat. So this is not an E minor chord anymore. This is the E minor. And here we have this chord, G, E flat, and B flat. So this is the second inversion of an E flat major triad. E flat major triad. Let's write it down on the board. E flat. And of course, that the last chord is identical to the first one, and the accidentals carry throughout the measure. So we have here the F, the D flat, and A flat, meaning that we have here a D flat major triad as well. D flat major triad. So now I'm going to play this short phrase, but this time with the borrowed notes. I will play it with the D flat, E flat, and D flat. Let's see how it sounds. Versus this one. sounds completely different with a Spanish flavor. And this was borrowing notes from the Phrygian scale.